Good evening out there, and you are with Here's the Life with Jim Rye and my better half, Ed, at Elizabeth.com. We are really and truly excited for this evening. And what we're doing this month is, and we talked about the last couple of weeks, uh, health is really your wealth. And so I couldn't think of anyone any better than to bring a phenomenal lady, my friend and sister, Dr. Suni, is joining us this evening. And what is so awesome about her, she knows about holistic medicine, the natural, doing it the natural, natural way. So she's going to share a lot of good stuff on Facebook with us this evening. And then, of course, we have my other sister and friend uh, <laughs> who is the most phenomenal uh, writer of lyrics and poetry and prayers and everything that's good that has something to do with words that's feeling to the heart and what comes from the heart, you know, goes to the heart. And uh, that would be no other than uh, Miss Pamela Will. Hello, in the hello, house. hello, everyone. Yes. So we are we we're, we're really and truly excited about a, a wonderful, wonderful show. Uh, if you got a friend or relative, it would be who of you to call them right quick and tell them to uh, go right into uh, intellectualradio.com, Life with Sam Ra. So, Dr. Suni, I am so glad you are joining us. And she has a product that she's going to share with us that is absolutely phenomenal. I am using it and uh, it works. It's good. So I'm so happy that you are joining us this evening. You just don't know. You are so genuine, so wonderful. And uh, we're just going to jump right into it and uh, let you just have a, a free for all. But one of the I do want to just ask, what have you been doing? Your husband asked me that same question. Yeah. <laughs> a loaded question. Uh, but um, I know a lot. I, <laughs> I work in the field, of course, in the wellness industry. Yeah. I've been doing that for the last mm, maybe 30 years or so. But recently, and I don't want to say recently because I've been in the educational system since 1977. But um, in the last, I would say about 10 years, I've been working with youth at risk. They label them youth at risk in alternative schools where the young people have been taken away from the mainstream okay. and are going to these schools in order to get a high school diploma. And they may be academically deficient uh, at the time that they come, but we're to bring them up to snuff. And a lot of times they have behavioral disorders or disruptions in their life patterns. Um, some of them are homeless. Some of them are involved in the system oh, of wow. different ways. And they're 17 to 21. And so they're young adults that could possibly be intellectually acting or performing at, in a grammar school level. Got it. Uh, but at the same token, they have adult ideas and they need real personal, spiritual, emotional, and mental guidance. And so I work with them in that arena, social, emotional skills. And uh, I went into the schools really to just help out. And then after having some success with some really deficiently, um, I would say, acting students that they asked me to stay. And I'm so sure for the last did. six or seven years, I created a program called the Live Well Reconnection Center within the school, and we were doing something called re-engagement, where we, we re-engage them into oh, the wow. academic setting and mindset, but at the same time, re-engage them to themselves. And, Which is and important, because mm -hmm. that helps them to be able to yes. engage with others. And Right, and so um, we're actually now doing some things with, with the staff, because I came out of the classroom last year. Um, I thought immaturely at first, but um, I knew that I needed to do a little something differently with the staff who works with them beyond myself and show them how to re-engage these students to, so that they can understand the, the truth of themselves and then the truth about their environment, whether it's an internal environment or the external environment and how they fit in and what gift that they have to offer that we need to enhance and help them recognize and then move forward in a positive way in life. Um, we sometimes say, and I was talking about this the other night when we were talking about words, we label 
sometimes Very much so. uh, with a judgment that we're not understanding what is causing this outward behavior. And as I begin to work with more of them, um, you know, you put the judgment aside and all you do is offer the truth. You offer love and you offer care. And then it changes. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it, it can't help but change because mm -hmm. that is the key word is, is love and understanding. And then I think to patience and that's something you got. Yeah. So I think that makes it. And then a lot of times teachers with you teaching the, the teachers mm -hmm. where they can, uh, uh, where you kind of equip them to be able to deal with it. Because I yeah. can imagine that there was judgment because it's a lot of fixed uh, patterns that we have uh, in the system, sometimes because that's just how the educator, mm -hmm. and then sometimes because we accept our perceptions about young people that's been given to us through the media and things of that nature. And then when you really dig in and get on the ground floor, I call it actually operating in the jungle, you start seeing something different and you start seeing or feeling the need of these young people, yes. and then you make a difference, and they will follow you anywhere and guard you and, and I can protect believe you that. I can believe when you that. give them. Well, you know, we're truth mm -hmm. students, we're truth teachers, yes. and uh, they will follow the truth because the truth will make you free. Mm -hmm. And that's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. So that 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 is, and then on the um, healing side, physical, the physical side, Whoa. So what what I what I uh, incorporated and at the time that I was asked to come and give some assistance, uh, it was a principal there that was really open. Actually, what happened, she had an experience where um, she uh, slammed her hand in a door and those doors in that building were steel. Yeah. And so she immediately, you know, pain. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I'm an energy practitioner as well as a holistic practitioner. And uh, I understand the whole concept of uh, nutrition and supplements and food and all of that. And so I immediately went to her aid and did a little technique real quick while she was sort of bent over in the pain. And as I was doing that, her pain disappeared. So she kind of looked at me and she's like, what did you just do? <laughs> and I and so I explained a little bit to it to her. And she said, uh, wow, let's see what we can do with some of these young people. And because I was just there as a assistant to one student at the time, they had me in a little bitty room with another gentleman who had a heart for young people. Now he's actually as the, uh, the dean. Me and him was just there part time. And they made him the dean. Yeah, he's the Dr. dean Sony. now. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. But we really he had a you know, he had a background with the Nation of Islam. Uh, and then he had a lot of discipline, but he also had he grew up in the in the housing development. So he had a heart for the types of students that were coming. And so now he's actually the current dean there. But uh, they took us out of that room and gave me a whole classroom because the students were coming in uh, based on this one student that I was helping who had a lot of emotional issues, a lot of them. And I kind of calmed her down, would work with her, talk to her one on one. And so after a while, the students would come into my office and they said, um, um, uh, um, and so I said, can I help you? And they said, yeah, I'm here because you was highly recommended. And I'm like, Hi, highly recommended? What you doing? <laughs> and they said, oh, uh, the student, I don't want to say her name. Uh, she said that you can help me. Oh, wow. And so I said, OK, help you with what? So then they would tell me and then I would sit with them. I had one computer. I would sit with them and they had a lot of uh, computer learning at the time. Mm -hmm. And so what I would do was take the material from the computer, because I think that just sitting someone at a computer for six hours and think that something is getting in is not normal. Mm -hmm. And so what I would do was take some time and I would print the material mm -hmm. and then it, they would be online. And then I would sit with them and we'd highlight key points and I'll have them read it because you have to use your eyes. You have to use your senses mm -hmm. to get it into. She loves it when I start talking about <laughs> cellular health into yeah. the dendrites yeah. in the brain because I'm a brain educationer mm -hmm. uh, teacher and uh, they would start getting it. And they was like, oh, wow. Yeah. OK, I didn't know that, you know. And then after a while, more students would come. So I was having like three or four students in this little bitty old closet of a room. <laughs> and the And the principal was like, why are these students be coming to your class? I said, because they, they said they needed some help. So she put me in a big room and I wound up with stu 20 students per quarter. And then oh, they would be wow. begging to come to my class pretty much. No blessing. So, everybody wants to feel 
uh, strong. Everybody wants to send a, a, a feel a sense of wellness. Yes. And, and yes. mentally, emotionally, and that, uh, and and young people. You know, because we were talking uh, to uh, even Reggie yesterday because he's teaching uh, music on the West Side. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's one of the things we were talking about. Is it's uh, something because right now you have so many babies raising babies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why you got so many emotional things going on and so much discord and this. Just don't know. So yeah. it, it, it's difficult. So what you're doing is a gift. So it what really I did. Is. Uh, to add to it, I started bringing a diffuser into because I understand the the uh, what essential oils do for uh, changing brain chemistry. So I'll bring a diffuser and I put different oils, and then you could you know of course the aroma would you know aromatherapy would go out and from the room into the hall, and so people would they would get off the elevator which was halfway down the hall. <laughs> what is, what is that? that smell? They said, oh, that's Dr. Sooney's class. <laughs> so after a while, they started coming down there and teachers would come mm -hmm. and just sit in the room and just sit there, you know, when they had a break or yeah. whatever, and said, can I just sit in your room? And I'm like, oh, okay. And she said, it is such a difference in this room. Oh, wow. And so what happened in the transition, because another principal, she left and got a different, well, she actually runs a whole agency like the one that I was working for. And so another principal came in and thank God she had the same type of consciousness. And so she set it up for me to uh, have a diffuser in every classroom. Oh, and we started oh, having Dr. essential Sony. oils in every room. So that there would be a different energy in the classroom so the students would either get focused or wake up because some of them come and they would be, you know, psychotropically gone yeah. or whatever or up all night. They've been out. You know, a lot of these students are homeless. Yeah. They ride the train all night or they in the little piles or wherever they could go. Mm -hmm. And so they would come, be sleepy. And so we have the oil so that either they can be alert or calm them down if they were doing some other things. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah I got and you. so. um it just now, started. What were some of the about. oils that you would use? Share that with well, us. Well, I was using basically with them the essential oils because that's what you can diffuse. But I would use frankincense for crossing the blood brain barrier and trigger a lot of uh, uh, stability in the brain, focus and clarity. Uh, lavender, oh, yeah, if they relaxing. need to calm down, mm -hmm, just, you mm -hmm. know, uh, citrus, uh, either the lemon or the orange or the blend. Because it brings a lot of uh, energy and joyous energy. Mm -hmm. The citrus uh, oils mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so then I would use different ones. And then peppermint, because peppermint, not only does it uh, kind of get you focused, and, and but it opens up your breathing capacity. And most of our young people don't know how to breathe. Most of us right. don't deep breathe. And so with the breathing cycle, um, when you breathe in, you actually get in touch with things that are out of order. Most of us don't deep breathe. And so when you breathe in, you're actually in communication with your body and things that are not right, you get in touch with it. So some people don't want to deep breathe because they don't want to get in touch with their disorders. Mm. They don't want to have to deal with the discomfort, even though they're in a discomfort in one way. They don't want to really take responsibility for the discomfort. Okay. And that's what you do when you breathe in. And then when you breathe out, you release the energy that has now been recognized that you need to get, of course, the carbon dioxide will take all those toxins out of the body as well. And so the peppermint oil allows you to breathe deep, breathe in, get in touch, breathe out, release it and let it now, go. How, how, how do you uh, show us? Can you demonstrate how you, the proper way? Well, um, I have them. You know, I would put a drop in their hand, one drop. Okay. And I use organic everything. And so rub it in and then I would take, have them put it up to their nostril. And just like God gave us the breath, the breath of life through yes. the nostril. So I would breathe in and then so push, push the abdomen out. And then when they would do that, they would, they would go, wow. Cause they could all of a they sudden. They could feel everything opening yeah, up. Their head would pop open. And, wow. Mm -hmm. And then I said, okay, breathe out. And then they would go, oh, my God. It's like they really felt themselves. Mm -hmm. We don't feel ourselves mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. And so after a while, students from different places, different classrooms would come and say, can I have some of that? Uh, So-and-so told me to come down. I need, <laughs> a, I need a drop of it. <laughs> and I was okay. like. Everybody uh, wants to feel So I would, I would have peppermint. And then they would drop. I put a drop on. They 
I tell them what to do. Don't get it up to your eyes because it'll burn your yeah, eyes. Yeah. Whatever. And they would take the deep breath and then they would sit. I would always have a chair by my desk and then one in front. And I keep, there was this little, uh, it's, uh, you know, I, I forgot what they call it, but it has the little balls and you hit one. Oh, yeah. It tells you about kinetic energy mm -hmm. and then the other ball. And I'd have that on my desk or puzzle. These are brain uh, activities. Yeah. Puzzle. Uh, on one side, I would have colored pictures. I mean, co uh, colored uh, blank. And then they would have pencils. And because young people don't, they stop doing that in school, grammar mm -hmm. school. So then they would sit and color. And all of a sudden, they would just get focused. And then if I say, okay, go to the computer, we'll turn up, to take your lessons. Now they sit there and they focus and they ask me questions. If you don't ask questions, you don't ignite brain activity. Right. Jesus asked questions. Repeat that again. That <laughs> one more time. If you don't ask questions, you don't open brain activity. Uh, it seems to me this program is so valuable and it opens up so many eyes. Has it been duplicated in any other school? No. Why not? Because it works. Well. Other schools haven't been introduced to the science of it. And in some cases, depending on administration. That's what she's saying, too. She said they were open. This particular principal was open. open. And then the director, the agency director, got wind of it. And she suggested we create this re-engagement program. And so now I'm, she's open for me to help with another, a few other staff members that kind of understand that as well, instructionally. Uh, offer this to certain schools within that network. But I want to, or I am going to package the program, copyright it, and then offer it to other school agencies or school systems so that it can begin to be incorporated that under be the New excellent. Life Wellness Institute. I'm a, I'm a non-for-profit, and so I want to make sure that it's presented in a way and I've trained others to make sure that it's prevent prevented, I mean presented in a way that it is not going to be watered down or added right, to right. and it's not altering that it's exactly the benefits. Like you're, like you're so that's what I'm working on now uh, because it is so key. And what happens, young people start and then we give them what they call experiential learning activities where they go in to other areas that they've never been in before. We took a group to Canada it was painstaking because young people don't even have proper identification. They don't have birth certificates. They don't have uh, state IDs. They have um, things that's connected to our political structure, voting cards and things of that nature. And so to get those things with dysfunction was really hard. It took us almost two to three months yeah, to imagine. get the small body of students to get the proper ID to be able to try to be able to go and then get the passport that we needed to go mm -hmm. to Canada. Wow. But and then we would go to different places outside of the radius of their blocks, up two blocks, over two blocks, and down two blocks is about what they do. And so, and then because now it's all this territorial stuff, with the you know, it's crazy. Yeah. But we would take them out of their normal experience, not natural, but their normal experience, Got and it. take them to other places, restaurants. We took them one time out to um, Matson because we're in this, this the schools located on on Thirty Fifth Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, we took them to the hotel, mm -hmm. got rooms, and then we took them to a restaurant that had cloth and tablecloths. And they was like, never experienced anything like that. Wow. Okay, what, what are we supposed to do, Dr. Soon? I said, this is what you do, this, this, and that. And then they had the, oh, you know, where you can, um, the, the, the restaurants where you can sit there and they bring you the different meats and you have the card. I forgot what, there's one downtown, it's a couple. Yeah. And so they were like, you know, and then you can go and get your sides or whatever. I'm talking big, 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 uh -uh. <laughs> big, 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 And so we would do that. And then, you know, you really gave them a different kind of exposure. Oh, you had taken them out of their element. Yes. You know, and that's, that's really and then, important. Then you yeah. can start seeing, they can start talking about, we mm -hmm. took one, when we went to Canada, one of our, again, he had been arrested several times. We found out he had an issue in the family because his mother had an abusive relationship and he didn't want to come to school because he didn't want to leave his mother unguarded and she oh, had a disorder. Wow. So he started talking to me about how can I help my mother? with the natural processes. Mm -hmm. So he wanted, he started buying with his own money. You know, I didn't ask him where he get the money from. Mm -hmm. He started buying the nutritional supplements. 
that would help his mother. And so we got to Canada and we went to the um, we went we did the Underground Railroad, mm-hmm. uh, tracing the steps across the bridge and all. Oh, and wonderful. then oh, yeah, we, yeah, it was Beautiful. phenomenal. Yeah. And so when we got to this church where they hid the slaves before they when they crossed the bridge, because the uh, slave owners would be there across the bridge with guns ready to recapture them and they would be able to hide. They would go under the ground right in the, in the water. Oh, it was kind of scary because I don't like going over water, but we took them over there and the, uh, the, the guide was showing us how they would, you know, escape under the bridge and hide there for a while and then crawl through the ground and get into this church. And so the church was where they would hide them in the pew box, you know, under the, mm-hmm. the little boxes where they would keep the mm-hmm. hymn stuff and all of that mm-hmm. and upstairs in the attic and all of that. Mm-hmm. And so we came back down and the lady was showing us a piano where um, back then that piano was still being used at the church. And it was, you know, when uh, Harriet Tubman was bringing them there. Mm -hmm. And one of our young, the young man I was talking about got on the piano. He started playing Beethoven and Mozart on the piano. Mm. I was in tears. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he was do 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 do, and everybody was like, and when it was no over, idea. no, and and he, I said, look at what you unwrap. I said, babe. He said, I said, when did you learn how to play the piano? I said, we didn't know you how to play the piano. He said, nobody ever asked me. Wow, that boy could play the piano like he was Mozart. Look at the gift you unwrapped. Yeah. That sounds like that sounds That's like most brothers. Nobody ever asked. Right? Nobody ever you know, asked, he yeah. said. And so a lot of them started talking about, you know, what they wanted to do. One wanted to be an engineer. One young lady who had been repeatedly raped by family members and, and babies taken away and all of that. She wanted to work with people. And I started a CNA, basic CNA, teaching them, you know, all about the health and mm-hmm. and um. I mean, she was a pistol because she come in the building, man. She was going to duke somebody. But they wouldn't even let her come to my room. So she started calling me on the phone and asked me what lesson were they on. She would go to the library. She did more work than the students that they would let come to my class. Wow. She is now she currently a, at Malcolm X, a student doing mortuary science. That, that's all people need is, a, is an, an opportunity and, yeah, a chance, and, a yeah, and a chance. That's right, a chance. An opportunity. Yeah, see me, and I don't know why me. somebody, I don't know why that's missed. And so, um, and so they would ask me. We are a gifted people anyway. Yes, yes. it's innate. It was given to us. Yes, hid it within us. And so, what we find out is that, uh, if they were getting more introduced, one girl brought her mother and her baby because the baby was having issues because I had given her and we rubbed oils on the body that day, and the baby even responded. The baby was like. Look at me, like, what did you just do to me? Mm. Because the frequencies in the oil, especially the organic, okay, not the little stuff you can get from Walmart for five dollars and two dollars and fifty cents, not that stuff. I, I got you. synthetic stuff, and so it goes into the body and goes up your meridians and wakes your body up. Mm. And so the mother came with her, and so the young people started bringing. The people that you know that they, they love and wanted and to, wanted to help with yeah. diabetes, wow. uh, lupus. Uh, I had mothers who you know was having fibroid issues and things like that. So my room, my classroom, almost became like a baby clinic. And wow. the principal just she never you know that it didn't get out because I wasn't licensed to do that there. You know what I'm saying? But it was necessary, and the students would respond. I had a young man who came with a bullet. You were saving lives. He had a bullet still lodged in him. He came and had been missing, and um, he knew about the oils and how they made him feel. And he came. I hadn't seen him in a while. I didn't know he had gotten shot. And he came to the room. He was asking me. I said, there's some tape right there. He said, no, the tape you always have in the drawer. Because I have first aid kit and uh, holistic, mm. I mean, uh, granola bar snacks, nuts and seeds and stuff like that. And so it turned out that he had been shot. Uh, nobody cared for the wound. The bandages was worn out and tape was worn. And we put Melaleuca on it to get the infection down and retaped it. And he still had the bullet in his ribs. And he came to school because he knew he can get some help from me. So wow. it's things, those are kind of experiences. And so I, I, I tell our age group, we need to reevaluate mm-hmm. what we need to do to stay healthy because younger people need us 
to transfer information into them and to set them on a road to success and pull out those gifts. But if we are out of order, That's right. if we're full of aches and pains, mm -hmm. you know, if we don't have any money, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, it, it, it's How can we be of any assistance? Yeah. Yeah. One of the young men, I did a class on value. One of the young men, I asked what the seven most important values after we discussed what value was. And on his, and I have it in my, oh, I brought my date book. No, uh, in, in the back. Yeah. And I keep this because it reminds me of how important this work is to get healthy, but then also stay well, get wealthy. And he said, this was his seven values. God, this was a gangbanger. My life, money, family, he spelled it incorrectly, <laughs> rap, school, and the hood. D-A. D-A <laughs> hood. The hood. hood. So I asked him to, to explain. He said, these seven things uh, I value the most because, first of all, if it wouldn't be for him talking about God, there would not be me. Now, this was somebody who you were thrown in the garbage. Mm -hmm. Wow. Gang bang. And he put God first. Then he says, next, my life. Talking about my life. Because without life, it would not be, I would not be able to make money. And that was his second. And he said, without money, he said, not without money, you cannot do anything. <laughs> Isn't there a scripture that says that somewhere? You don't have money. Money is the answer. No, no, no. What is no, it? Money, money, answers money, money answers things. all things. Because you yeah, got to have things yeah. to make stuff happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so he said that. Then he said, so I got to have money because without money, you can't do nothing. <laughs> Next, my family, because they are the ones that stick by me no matter what. Mm -hmm. And then he said, and then rap, because that's how I'm going to make my money. <laughs> <laughs> Right. was a young person. You up. Wow. Up. Mm -hmm. And then he said, and then school, because then I can take the info from school, what I can get out of school, then I can go get a job, and then I can support my rap. He my had man. logic to his thinking. Yeah, everything. Well, he had yeah. a plan. He and then he plan. said, because he then I can uh he said, then I can increase my my rap skill. And next, the hood, because that's where I came from, that's where I got my name from, and that's where I'm going to go back to, See. to help my family. And wow. that's the seven values. That's like values. you don't forget where you came from. Yes. That's what this young man said. And I kept that. When I, you know, I would give them a, a journal. And I pulled it out because I'm thinking, he has more sense about value than some of the folks that's teaching mm -hmm. or <laughs> preaching wow. Hello. or raising or supposedly caring for a family. Mm -hmm. wow. Dr. Sunni, you mentioned before that in order for us to heal uh, children, we need to take care of us. And uh, in order to do this, there's some essential ingredients and oils that you use that you may want to pass on the information to us about so that we can use if, ourselves. And I meant to, I didn't bring a book, I have about 20 over the over the last three years, since actually since 2016, when my daughter and I was looking for a solution for my granddaughter, my granddaughter cerebral palsy, she's quadriplegic. She was born a twin, a premature, um, and so in that process of being born, they uh, used forceps on a two pound, nine ounce baby, and created a spot on her brain, and so she wound up with cerebral palsy, first born out of the my daughter's womb, oh, wow. and so. So she's been in the wheelchair all her life. So she had several surgeries and they kind of uh, botched up one of the surgeries and her muscles started to twist and created scoliosis. Mm -hmm. So she has, we had to find some pain management uh, without giving her a lots of drugs for the pain. Mm -hmm. And so we started investigating the cannabis plant. And so with that, we went to several, my daughter researched several things. We went to some uh, conventions here. Uh, the My daughter went to Atlanta to some conventions on cannabis. Okay. And you, of course, when you say that word, people automatically think we're talking about weed. Well, yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. Because the hemp tree is, is a weed. Okay. Right. It was created by God, like everything is. Okay. And it had its purpose when it was created because it was 
thousands and thousands of years ago as man was evolving from a hunter gatherer and working uh, among foliage to pick seeds and berries and things in order to sustain themselves and use the elements of the tree because it only it only took four to five months for it to mature and that's how they built their 50,000 uses industrial use. they built their houses they had made their clothing and shoes it made medicine wow. right um it was it provided the sails on um the boats even as the europeans got hold to it they used the sails they made the the uh paper and to ro- cross and over ropes, into this country ropes, ropes, ropes of things of that nature and so <clears throat> it and then the seeds they can plant them anywhere because the weed will grow where anywhere, anywhere. their yeah. soil and so they would plant it so that they would have a food source a, a source to clothe themselves and all so when those europeans came over here they brought the seeds of that plant here and grew and then as they met native americans and i say that term because when I went to South Dakota and I went to several tribes there, mm-hmm. they cannot be, they do not want to be called an Indian because right. they are not from India. Right. That was a mistake because they thought they were in India when they hit this country. And they, the first indigenous people they saw, they called them Indians, right. yeah. but they were not. Whatever your tribal name was, that's who right. you were. Right. right. And so they are Native Americans and they talked to me I speak and I went to their spiritual ground and everything it was a wonderful experience and they talk about generosity they talk about the circle of life generosity independence uh they talked about um the fact of of giving you know through the generosity and then creating this unity among each other in order to sustain themselves Mm -hmm. as a community as a tribe and so they they uh began to be able to get some information from them, but because they wanted to confiscate the land, they negated what they were telling them in order to sustain themselves. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of things happened. And so, you know, me being a teacher, I understand history and what happened, but they would grow that hemp plant to get food source, housing and things, because they didn't know how to deal with the severe weathers on the East Coast mm-hmm. because they came straight through uh, across the Atlantic. Right. Okay. And so that tree has had many benefits a long, long time. And it was actually against the law not to grow it because they needed it. It provided so much. It provided so much. And then as time evolved, of course, based on where it grows, um, there are certain components or chemical constituents, if you will, just like an apple. An apple is what we call it. But it's pectin, it's malic acid, it's vitamin A, it's the very the frequencies that have a lot of energy from the redness or the yellow or the green, depending on what kind of apple it is. It have elements that we need in it, okay? And we call it an apple. And so yeah. the cannabis plant is called a cannabis plant. They used to call it a calamus in ancient history back in Egypt and uh, India and all those areas, Africa. And they used it because the elements in the plant would provide medicine and it also provide a pain reliever, which was the Delta 9 tetrahydrocannabidiol. We call it THC. And that's the psychotropic ingredient that gets you high. And so the Native Americans understood that because they grew it. And so the other people that didn't understand it called it local weed. Because you would find a lot of it in the desert. So if it was a warm climate, more THC component would grow in it. And you could just inhale it and get this cycle active uh, issue. But it did not make you violent. It did not make you want to kill anybody. Mm -hmm. And if anybody back in the 60s who's listening in knew that when we, and I say we, we, because at one point, when I was coming up, you were sitting, and if they were smoking it, you it passed to you. You took a hit. <laughs> Come on, you know, sh- tell the truth and shame the enemy, right. the devil, or whatever you want to call it, right? <laughs> and all you did was laugh, giggle, want something to eat, something go to up. sleep, or have some sex. 
Right. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> wasn't nothing else happening. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Robbing nobody. That's right. You weren't trying to go nowhere. You was cracking jokes and laughing and, <laughs> and what you got time. to eat. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And then after that half came off, you went to sleep. That's it. That was it. And so there has never been a documented case of anybody overdosing on the plant in its original state. Okay, and I say that because what they have done over yeah, time, they, they've, they've contaminated the plant, yes. brought it into our community, and offered to our young people, and it, it has laced it, laced it with all it. kind of formaldehyde and everything yeah. else. Okay, because they can they understand what to do to turn your brain off. But if you grow the plant naturally, it offers these components, and so CBD, which now is all the rage, it's a trend. We call it a trend, but it's actually an answer to the cry of people that are saying, I'm tired of being sick. And what else can I do? Because I've been on this medication. I've been on this therapy for 25 years, 30 years, and I still got the problem. So if I'm taking something that long, do you think the problem is supposed to go away? I Mm -hmm. think so. Yeah. If you understand the workings of this magnificent body, Psalms 139 and 14 says, I will praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are the works of this body and something about my soul knows right well. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And so if something innately knows that it is looking for these elements to help it heal itself we are self healers when given the tools if you were an architect you need a pencil and a vision to sit down and write what's coming into your head that the creator put in there and start making up uh housing development that's what he does with his contracting see no and i don't even know that i don't know what he did yeah he's a contractor so i'm just saying our gift will make room for us and so you need tools though that's right right if I'm a teacher, I need the books. That's right. Now they've taken books out of the room, out of classrooms. We have to Xerox papers. Really? You see, we 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 don't go in, we don't find out what's going on. There's no books in schools anymore. There's no spelling. Exactly. Okay. So then now, because everything's on the computer, all I gotta do is Google and it's gonna give me what they want me to know. What they want me to know. Who was the day? I don't know. You think about it, right? right. And now I, I, I talk in codes. One of my friends, she lives in another city now. She be cold. I'm like, girl, what do that mean? Spell that out, please. <laughs> right. right. I don't okay. know GBB and CK. No, what does that mean? Yeah. Okay. I, talk want, to me in say, words. She don't want to say she can't spell. And it, right. And it, well, she, I think she can, but it's just <laughs> that we have adopted the idea that I can just Zoom through life, shorten things, okay? So it hinders brain activity. So if you don't use it, you lose it. it. And so we have 100 to 200 billion cells that are looking for the substance in the cannabis plant called the CBD. That's what I want you to talk about, those cells. some, Some cases, the THC is necessary because it relieves pain and anxiety, okay? And so... Not to just have you blown away and high and you can't function, but to get rid of pain. But there's, they know that there are a lot of people that need the benefits of the CBD. It's called cannabidoil. It is a constituent of the plant. Okay. No man put that in there. God put that in there. It, that's how the plant grows. And it has lots of medical benefits. Okay. Then there's CBG. That's called cannabigerol. It actually acts as a stem cell to help the the cell recreate itself, which it does normally. But because our food has been damaged, franken foods, GMOs, gluten, um, water is contaminated. Okay, so everybody got to use a filter, get spring water, whatever. Right. When you didn't have to have those issues 40 and 50 years ago, but they contaminated the water. They spray the air frequently. So we're breathing in our respiratory. We got congestion here. Our bodies are bombarded from with toxins. There's chemicals and the toxins we use to clean our homes. You know what I was going to say? And I've said this before. I have never heard of so many people 
with cancer, Doctor yeah. Sunny. We I mean, it, I mean, where it just happens just instantly, almost. It, it doesn't happen instantly. It has been happening a long time, and then you. I'm talking see, about within the body of the person. Yeah, I understand, but we think that it happened instantly. It's been brewing for a long time. I'm an iridologist, and I'm also a functional medicine practitioner, and we know that that those cells have been mutating for a period of time, and we call that a subclinical manifestation. You don't detect it right away. And then by the time you detect it, you're in stage three, stage four. And mm-hmm. if you don't know what to do, it aggressively begins to work because it locks a cancer cell, will lock on a good cell and hook its way into your DNA and uh, your DNA or your RNA, which produces another cell, the protein. And it creates, it uses that protein mechanism and covers itself up. It protects itself. And it will begin to mutate the next cell. It's like putting a bad apple in a, in a good yeah. apple cart and all the apples Everything go bad. Go bad. And this process called apoptosis doesn't happen. Your immune system is very wise, but it needs tools. And so it will decode it so it can be taken out by the lymphatic system. And the lymphatic system moves when you move. So we don't move anymore. We watching TV. We sitting down. We at a computer. We're not going nowhere. It has so many different ways that it will protect you. But it. It needs a tool. So CBD is a tool. So the trend now, supposedly, is CBD is talked about everywhere. I got 20 different magazines, front cover, New York Times magazine, uh, History magazine. All of them are saying CBD, proven benefits, CBD in you, natural CBD, CBD for the pet, CBD for the baby. Mm -hmm. And so you see a lot of companies using the oil, the essence of the oil, because again, because oil does cross the blood brain barrier. But we found of the company. So you have to have certain molecules for it to get in and rapidly do this because you're seeing all of a sudden people are just, it's popping up everywhere. Yeah. You need rapid response. With the oils, it takes a, a minute. So you have a 15 mil or a 10 mil bottle, okay, that can cost you anywhere from 50 to $250. Yes. Okay. But it, ta- it has to go, everything oily, it's a lipid. It has to be regulated by the liver. Your body is so magnificent. And so it takes a minute for the liver to decipher it, make sure it's enough, send it where it's going to go and all of that, right? The liver has 500 jobs. It's like a Jamaican. It's going to do all the work. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Sunny, hold it one minute. We're going to take a quick pause for the cause. We're here at intellectualradio.com with Dr. Sunny giving us, I told you, some oh information that is awesome. just awesome. I could just sit and listen to her. I'm telling you, she is just phenomenal. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I'm going to talk about the difference between the oil and the aquaceutical base. And you know time is going by, so yes, you're going to have to come fast. back. Wow. It's, it's quick... awesome. If you like me on Facebook and check me out, love is possible. Yes. Oh my baby, my darling, my love, you are music to my ears, you are the beat of my heart, you are my joy. My love, you are the place my life starts. Yes, you are. You are my inspiration. You are my happy. You are my tears. That song, you I can tell you, it's going to be the love song coffee. and the wedding song for 2020. Music tea. written by me and lyrics written by Miss Pamela Wilkes. That song is just no absolutely man, phenomenal. No I want you to make sure that you download it. I'm on Spotify, Pandora, 
and uh, all the streamings. So make sure you go down, uh, I mean, go and download that song for us, You Are. And also just download the CD. It's a wonderful CD, Love is Possible. And we're not going because time is just going by. We got to have Dr. Suni back for part two, but she's going to explain to us about the difference. So I want to take a a half of 30 seconds to say that I am so grateful and so honored that you have invited me and you three. We have been under the teachings of some powerful people over the years when we met. Uh, the mm-hmm. Reverend Johnny Coleman, uh, Bishop Carlton Pearson, uh, and, and I grew up under T.L. Barrett Jr. Yes. I mean, we have some phenomenal truth teachers that we've learned from, and it's up to us to pass on those marvelous, wonderful teachings yes. that we've gotten. And so that whole wellness piece is a big part of it because you just don't want to have spiritual uh, awareness and you do, and you're detached from your own body. The temple of the Most High God yes. is in here, waiting for uh, the possibilities of healing, the limitlessness, mm-hmm. the formless substance, waiting for us to put it out there and then manifest. So, the cry of the people have been saying, "What can we do to be healed?" And CBD showed up. Wow. Okay, yes. the hemp because they villainized it. I'm gonna try to go real quickly. The, they villainized the plant in 1937 for political reasons and financial reasons, and so they put it on a Schedule One drug. It has never been a drug. Created and made it to be a resource for us, for the people. Did they ever take it off of that? Designation? No, the federal is still a Schedule One drug, but the states have recognized it as a component that can begin to help people. So the state recognizes one thing, but federally it is still on the schedule one drug. But the, the 2018 farm bill allowed the states to make that decision to make it, even though the, even the recreational marijuana, uh, a substance that can be used now medicinally, but also because it's a lot of tax money in it. Hello. If you go, there's a marijuana tax law in 1937 that came up. And so you got to do homework. OK. And then so because of, and I can go through a whole thing about Harry Anslinger, uh, Andrew Mellon, uh, uh, William Randolph Hertz and all these guys came together to put that into the narcotic schedule one to hinder it from being exposed out there to be something that they can use to produce paper and buildings and all of that, as well as a medical uh, substance, but it has never harmed anyone based on the other things that's listed on your schedule one, like uh, heroin. That's, that sounds that sound like uh, cocaine, uh, 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 yeah. uh, other it, drugs that they produce synthetically. It sounds like a, 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 a agreement between the five families, the Mellons, the Gettys, and the DuPonts. They yes, all got together that's and exactly that what happened. Yeah. Exactly. And they had big money, and so then they could buy politicians and, 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 and re regulate the federal. Uh, laws in order to accommodate their profit purpose. Okay. Right. But God had another purpose. So he brought it back. And so now it's, it's, it's coming up and actually the, um, the oils are good. They have, but it takes a while before it can penetrate all of the cells and all of the areas that may be out. And so we found a company that not only uh, understood this whole nanotechnology where they make the molecule uh, one billionth of a, a, a meter in order to penetrate the body, they generally, most companies can only afford to make the nanometer size uh, a 2,000 nanometer mm-hmm. or 5,000 nanometer. This company produces uh, the nano size to seven nanometers, which is almost a picometer. And if you look that up, a picometer is one trillionth of a meter, mm. wow. which means it can penetrate lots of cells because you have a hundred trillion cells in your in body, your body. Yeah. and you have 10 major receptor sites. There's a Dr. David Allen on YouTube that talks about the end. He's a, a cardiologist and a researcher for the endocabinoid system. We didn't hear anything about this until the last about two years ago, but they discovered it supposedly 30 years ago. In the in the body, these are receptors that are receiving and will and use the the essence of the the uh, c- the CBD or the cannabis oil in order to open the cells up to begin to use it and create healing. And so, every part of your body, the major organs, brain, it uses eighty three percent water, kidneys eighty three percent water, blood tissue, plasma ninety three percent water, heart 
water element, water. And so they use what they call aquaceutical delivery or water delivery because your bodies and most of us are dehydrated because we drink everything but water. Okay. Or we drink mm. excessively to other things and may a little water. And so the body's looking for this water delivery system, bringing in the CBD and CBG, other herbs they call uh, no, nootropics, yeah. which are listed as uh, smart drug, smart drugs or smart supplements that does brain cognitive enhancement because we are totally out of order in our brain. Where and can, so where can I get some of this? You, <laughs> I'm glad you asked that, <laughs> can get it from Pam and I and a group of others who are now marketing this product because we're seeing such fast results because of the delivery system being in a w encapsulated in water. Now, let me ask you this, not to cut you off, but let me ask you this since we're on the time thing. Now, when they say um, swish it around in your mouth, put it under your tongue, explain that. Because the under swishing. your tongue, you have, I know it goes into your you have many cap capillaries, and so it's getting delivered directly into your blood vessels immediately what's the for? because under the gums because we we take in a lot of stuff we eat a lot of processed food we eat, we don't eat organic we bacteria is hiding and harboring themselves under the gums creating havoc to your immune system so when you swish it it is getting in the gums and allowing this positive response to now go in and say Okay, where's the poison? Get it. Wow. And the immune system now can use the elements. And then you swish it, you hold it, you swish it, you swallow it. Now it's going down through the mucous membrane in your esophagus where a lot of toxins from the food is left on that membrane wall going down into the stomach. And so we've had like a nurse, she started taking it. She started, no, she had a uh, a lot of uh, acid in her stomach and some issues with her colon where she was actually creating a, a, a appendix issue. She noticed that when she started taking it, she even heard the gurgling because she wasn't having bowel movements regularly. She's now having two or three a day. She now does not need, need her uh, nebulizer and she's been asthmatic all of her life. She put, she told me the other day, she put her machine in the closet we had another. Now, how long was she on it? About 10 days. Wow. Now it's been a month. Well, I know I've been taking it and then and I've seen the difference in uh, yeah. how my legs and ankles. And energy yeah. level. And so what happens, people think they need to have some type of clinical thing going on. But I tell everybody prevention, prevention is key. We always. You never that. know what you're preventing. Because subclinically, when I do iridology readings, you can see the subclinical disturbance in different parts of the body registered through your nervous system in your iris. And you can begin to see tissue deterioration. And then you start to see it change. And we adopt through our DNA, we adopt the negative memory of disorders from five generations up. And we see that in a holistic iridology. And so you have 62 contributors that may be contributing to your current issue that you can begin to erase when you use the CBD. I want wow. you to quickly talk about these, um, the sprays. The because sprays are have... specifically, Ooh, the spray. don't tell me what we have. <laughs> the sprays specifically uh, target certain things like this is the foundational, the swish. And it, and it also has the ashwagandha and sharandra helps with anxiety. Uh, Boswello, which is your, uh, actually another name for frankincense. We all know what frankincense can do. It Frankincense chemically can actually change the DNA message and reprogram your cell to do what it was designed to do mm -hmm. and deprogram the message that it was given that was incorrect. Wow. That's what frankincense does. OK, super powerful. That's why they took it to the to the baby. Uh, G gave it to his mom and daddy because he didn't know he was a baby. Yeah. But it was a reason they gave it to them and myrrh, same thing. Myrrh, okay. Yeah. And then go because they needed some cash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. And yeah, I know Ashwagandha is really good because I take that. Yes. Yeah. And so the sprays have the essence of the CBD and CBG, along with other elements like for the serenity. You know, it has the uh, it has the oil. I mean, the uh, essence of passion flower and. Uh, I think it's uh, something called dragolin. Dragolin is a herb that really gets you 
calm but clarity mm -hmm. okay we used to sell joaglin at the health food store i worked for uh dr caesar down on 75th near Veg so vegetarian and we sold that by itself but it has many many benefits the boost energy everybody always oh i don't have no energy i ain't got your mitochondria inside your cell and get no fuel because we get excessive sugar and it's actually not uh it's it's calcifying it so then this goes in with elements from the citrus and the CBD and CBG and other things in here that give you a boost of energy that's natural as opposed to going getting Red Bull, Red Energy, blah, blah, blah. Five, stuff that five energy energy and all this that's stuff. actually helping to uh, destroy your kidney. Exactly. And heart. <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. And then the uh, we have relief, which uh, gives you quick relief from discomfort and pain. Most people, if you talk to them long enough, they're going to tell you about every pain they got. All you got to do is talk for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Say, how you doing? Girl, you know, my knee. Baby, you know, my so-and-so. Well, you know, my back. Well, I'm, like, I'm like, I just asked how you're doing. I ain't <laughs> just talk long enough. They're going to tell you all the stuff. Right? Right. So this gives you quick relief. And you spray about nine sprays. And this is a this little piece is a whole. Okay. Wow. And then there's one for sleep. That's sleep the one I is use. The, is is what I think awesome. this one works good for sleep too. Yes, awesome. yeah, it does. Which one? The, this one the really the, the, no, the well. Oh yeah, that yes, it does. I mean, it, it has some of the well. elements, yeah. and then it also has feverfew and valerian root and things like that. Mm -hmm. And so people do not rest, mm -hmm. and we do not get good delta wave sleep. Delta wave sleep will put you in a healing mode, and your body can mode. Your consciousness is gone, and there's no room for. Uh, I, you know, I can't, I did, you know, we have this private logic <laughs> where we can't do, I, did, and I, I, hell, I don't know why I can't private logic going on inside our head. So when you're in Delta wave sleep, it moves it out the way and now your body can heal. So the sleep has the elements, the herbs in there it. that helps to love get it. your a body to go into this deep Delta wave sleep. Well, this is what I want to do. Can I invite you back next week? Can you check your yeah, calendar? Yeah. What's next week? Yes. Because yeah. I would love for you to come back and uh, I'm going to uh, see if we can take phone calls. Okay. I okay. think that would be excellent. And then what I'll do is I'll break down the other elements so that people understand the value because they, you know, we said this is $80. I have a bottle. I'm going to bring that next week. That's about 15 meals. That's $95, but it's an oil. Yeah, and it has worked, but it takes several of those ninety-five dollar bottles to work. But I mean, you got people paying paying but, ninety-five dollars for one for yeah. one. And so this is eighty dollars. That gives Lots you all of kind of side effects. And this will get in and make a faster delivery. We have a friend. You you you. We are it's all our friends that had the leg that they wanted oh to actually goodness. go in and cut the veins and eventually cut the leg. I know, and in really. ten days. Most of those oh. wounds that were open closed, and now and now she called me the other day in tears because they took the wrapping off, and the two that were left are just about closed up, and she hasn't had any pain during the whole process during oh. the whole month. She was at a thirteen in pain level, popping uh, a leave, leave and all every that. other six hours. Well, this is what we're gonna do. We're going to invite you back to tune in to intellectualradio.com uh, with Zimra and Ed next week. We want you to tell your friends, family, this is worth it, worth listening to, worth sharing the information. And I also really, really want you to share and subscribe. This has been a wonderful, wonderful segment. Again, this is the month of January. Your health is your wealth. If you right. want to do something, you got to do something and make sure that you're healthy enough to be wealthy because yeah. your health is your wealth. Mm -hmm. What I want to so, know is just like as millions of other listeners, how can we get a hold of Dr. Suni? Well, she's going to share that with us. Go yeah, ahead. we'll do that she, next we'll week. We'll do that next week. Yeah. We're on time now. But uh, that's why we're having her back. So right. we want to make sure that you, uh, like I said, tell your friends and family and everybody to tune in to Here's the Life with Zimra and Ed. I am so glad. Let me just say this came. quickly. Check Zimra's Facebook page. Go on and check her Facebook page. You yes. can get all this information. We must become more social media active. You'll get all this information on her Facebook page, how to get in touch with Dr. Suni, how to get in touch 
Church with myself. We're doing some amazing things and we need you to share and subscribe and to be engaged. We're looking for phone calls, guys. Next week, we're looking yeah. for phone calls. And the phone call, is, you can put it down now, is 708 708- Two two three eight nine five three, mm-hmm. and have your little notebook or or, or mm-hmm. little pad to just take notes because the information that she has provided this evening is, uh, I mean, so valuable, and you can't put a dollar on it. You're talking about your health, where you can keep it moving. So we want to thank you, Dr. Suni. I, thank I, you. I knew thank you, you so much. Thank explosive you so much. Explosive with so much information. Passionate. Uh, uh, and, and there's the word, Pam, mm-hmm. passionate. I mean, you can tell that she is absolutely absorbed with the information that she gives. This is not nothing overnight, fly by night. This is information that she has studied and uh, and she's just it's just been wonderful. And again, I thank you so much for coming thank you today too. and sharing this evening with us. Thank you, Pam. Uh, Pam absolutely uh, suggested Dr. Suni, and I'm so happy and grateful that you did because I know myself that she is truly of value. And that's one of the things that <laughs> Pam and I talk about. We have got to begin to support one another. If we don't, who will? So I want you to have a good rest of your evening. Thanks for joining me. We love you. Here's the life. Here's to your life. You have a wonderful day. And to all like our listeners, Facebook. and to all our listeners, prepare yourself to be healed. And as always, I'd like to thank uh, our director over here, Wanda B. And- Wanda B. and Earl for allowing me to be myself again. <laughs> have a good night. <laughs>